Hello, and welcome back to Toxic Tryhards. Today, I'm gonna play, do a little bit of XCOM Enemy Within. New game came out, XCOM 2. Haven't played it yet, but I love this game to death. So, we're just going to. Just gonna. What do we want? We want. Um. Nope. Alright. Uh, no, we do not want that one. And yeah, okay. So, if you haven't seen this game, it's a remake of the original. It came out a long time ago. 1900s. I don't know the exact year. But it's very faithful to the original. Those who play with the devil's toys will be brought by degrees to wield his sword. I'll be quiet now. In light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. XCOM. Enemy Within. So this is kind of a standalone DLC for Enemy Unknown. Where do we want to start? I think South America, I think, is honestly the best. Just gonna go there. Really? We're moving into Argentina next. The threat there seems to be the most pressing. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Okay. So we are somewhere in Argentina on a bridge. We're going to locate any hostiles. Strike one, this is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. Okay, let's go. Um Heading to that, that guy. This is another this is strategy tactics turn based game. Most things you'll see from me. It's a really good one. Really hard. Like Darkest Dungeons hard. But I'm only playing on normal, so <laughs> so I won't die instantly. But pretty instantly. So what I'm just doing is I'm just mounting my guys up, preparing for an assault, putting wall in Overwatch, so any enemy in sight will instantly be I will instantly shoot at. And I got a dash there, meaning I won't have extra action points. Oh, 
Oh, he's also in Overwatch. And he's gonna fire. Ooh, okay. Um, let's, let's try and get a few shots off first, because that guy in Overwatch is gonna be kinda nasty to move down. Oh, got him. Now this game is heavily based on uh, luck. Like, Let's do this. random numbers and probability. But I like that. It creates a good kind of On vibe in that in the game. Just 35. And... Yes! Out of the game. I call that the luck of the Irish, they do. Just gonna dash. Roll it out. Now you can notice, you might see a little shield. That's cover in, in the game. Cover is really useful. Kind of helps your guys take less damage. May not even be hit at all. And we're gonna run right up to this canister. Inside here is Meld. Meld is newest to enemy on enemy within. And it's an alien material. And it's the building blocks for a lot of the things in this game. Bye bye. Dead. And bullshit. We missed. Missed. I Had to happen sometime though. Right down. And that was a good work out there, strike one. If I make operation banish the labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. So we got four aliens, XCOM operatives, and male container. Now, that may look really easy, but that's not. You get harder aliens, more aliens. But you can also slowly upgrade your guys. So this is also kind of like a management game. And you'll see that right now. Commander to the research labs. Commander. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Okay, so this is kind of XCOM HQ. Commander and this is the management part of the game, really. The uh, oh, we got promotions, so right now you start off guys and they're just rookies, but now once you get some kills they actually become bonuses. So right here we've got a sniper. Uh, yeah, sniper's really good kind of hard to get sometimes. We also got a heavy, D does what he sounds like, he's a heavy, really big gun, and he's also wounded. You only get wounded if you take damage, and yeah. And the recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. That must talk more than me. And uh, yeah, well, just see. Um, here we got new research, blah blah blah. Okay. Let's start off with our research. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. That's great. So we get to choose our research. Commander really. to engineering. Commander to engineering. So xenobiology, we're gonna study the meld. And fragments, alien tails. Oh no, this is the meld. I forget what xenobiology is. We're gonna do the meld though. I meld agree. That does seem to be the most pressing of our current research options. We'll begin immediately. I will notify you when a complete report is available. Let's go to engineering. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, 
We can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Okay, so here's this. We can build items here. Need a satellite. Satellite. Commander, will help with our building. current satellite uplink facilities are at full capacity. Yeah. We should build additional uplinks as soon as possible to allow for new satellite deployments. Get a med kit. We need to now build some facilities. So. Now you get an adjacent bonus for having buildings beside each other that do the same thing. But Commander, we're skipping that. Control. Commander to mission control. It's not that good. But and we need a power generator now, so we can build more. Excavate more. So we have further to expand. Now let's go to mission control. And now we can scan for activity. We're gonna look for some extraterrestrial movement. Abduction. Commander, we've picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. Okay, now this is the main mission, one of the main missions in the game. And this is one of the most important. This with this, not too much now, but there's a panic system. If too many countries, if a country gets panicked so much, their bar gets full, they leave the council. So many countries leave the council, you lose the game, right? So you need to kind of balance the panics out, because if you help them, their panic will reduce, but if you remain them, it will increase. But at this moment, we're just going to really do it for rewards. So 200, for scientists, for engineers. I'm going to go to Argentina, because I want scientists stuff. So now we are just going to name some of our characters. Because this is the best part of XCOM, naming your characters and cry when they die. So we're going to tell them Toxic, Try Hard. Toxic Try Hard Squad. And her name's going to be. Lila. I think that's for Lila. And we're gonna give her some. I'm gonna give her soldier's helmet, and we're gonna get that an army green. And I'm just going to do the rest of the guys because I like doing it. Now we're going to give Lily a med kit so she can heal our guys. You can equip them with different weapons, but we don't have anything really to give them at the moment other than a med kit. So that replaces a grenade. So yeah, oh. and let's go. Wow. I wish I had. I wish I had that. So sick. Prepare for deployment, strike one. We're moving into Argentina next. The threat there seems to be the most pressing. Alien activity continues to surge within several major cities. Our response is crucial to minimizing the spread of panic. Let's go. So this should still be pretty easy. Probably still going to be dealing with the sectoids. Doubt it if we'd get anything harder yet. But I think I could kill them anyways. So, we have Lily. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. Send our sniper. We're gonna send you around for Roger, a flank. Roger. 
Alright, we're gonna have to send you here. Affirmative, moving out. X-ray spotted. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Sorry, Brian. Ah, oh, you fucking Lily, that's bullshit, bullshit. their turn. Now he's gonna mind meld with him, giving him more health. Which is, again, annoying. And I think he also does extra damage, but don't quote me. <laughs> no, no, no. X-ray oh. spotted. My god. So much. Yeah, Commander. Yeah, better vantage point. 50. Now the only issue with a mine merge is you can actually, if you kill one of telepath, then they put both of them Ah, oh, fuck, can't kill it. Now the problem with the sniper is she can't sh move and shoot on the Moving same turn. So we're just gonna have to move her to position. We could use a grenade. I'll use a grenade just to show you guys what it's like. Frag out. Fwa. And now this is our flank guy. Solid mm -hmm. copy. Now he could get a really good grenade kill. A really good one. get all three of them. <laughs> Go Cooper! Hoorah indeed! Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. Okay, let's go. Commander to the Situation Room. An exemplary performance. Let's hope all of these operations go as smoothly as this one did. Let's hope. So now we have a support what they sound like, they're really useful, they can help a lot, and we also have an assault. Assaults can have really high damage guns and they but they're really close range. Like yeah. We got some metal. Commander to the situation room. Commander to the situation room. We will be in touch, Commander. 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 That's the best. You can part now about honor our soldiers by awarding them medals for accomplishments you deem appropriate. You can view and award medals in the barracks. Every member of the council is going to want satellite coverage. So we should plan our deployments carefully. So now you can see Canada and UK has panic has actually increased because we couldn't help them. You can only choose one. So hard decision. So I guess let's keep going. This also speeds up time. There's our power generator. All of its buter. Power generator complete. Um, and access lift operational. We built our access lift meeting. Now we can. Oh no, we're broke. We need the money. Okay then. Um, let's just keep scanning for. Yeah. Ooh. So, what is it, Doctor? It's remarkable. The crystalline structure housed within the canister is actually a suspension containing billions of cybernetic nanomachines, each made up of both organic and mechanical components. My team's analysis indicates these microscopic robots are capable of assembling mechanical structures with unprecedented efficiency. With further study and some specialized facilities, we may be able to engineer a sort of cyber suit that interfaces with the human body. My oh. team is more interested in the possibility of physically altering the tissue itself, incorporating aspects of the alien's own genetic adaptations by using the nanites to fuse the foreign material. The commander will have to decide where the greatest advantage lies. Is there anything you agree on? Given the apparent purpose of the nanites, they allow combining organic materials with one another, or with machines. We have at least agreed to call them 
meld. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. I'm still having a hard time grasping what it is the aliens are hoping to accomplish here. Are they studying us? Why abduct humans seemingly at random? There must be a pattern that we haven't established yet. Yep. Well, that's it for XCOM. Now, if you guys enjoy it, I would be happy to keep coming it and do more. But please let me know, really. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye